Yeah, so we're here at the Finland Farmers Market and it's at the Claire Nelson uh, Center, or the community center here, <clears throat> up on Highway 7. Um, we've been organizing this, has been being organized for seven years. Um, we have a variety of different vendors. We've got eggs and maple syrup and produce <clears throat> and jams and jellies and bread and all sorts of things. I'm Honor Shalom. I'm, I guess I call my business Barefoot Enterprises, but because I don't wear shoes in the summertime, <laughs> if I can avoid it. Um, I mostly make pickles. Um, I guess some years I make a lot of applesauce and sell it, but this was not a good apple year, so I'm sitting on my applesauce. We had a hard frost and then uh, a drought. And yes, apple cider, sometimes we demonstrate. He has a cider press, this is my stepdad. And uh, he has a cider press, so sometimes we demonstrate apple cider pressing because it's really fun to watch people do all that. And then I guess I also sell rhubarb juice um, by the cup, so that's pretty much what I do. Well, let me see. I've been in the Finland area for uh, since about 1976, and uh, before that, I grew up in Silver Bay. And uh, I have a syrup operation on my land, and uh, also, uh, like Honor was saying, uh, I have a cider press, and it's uh, kind of an old-fashioned type. Is there's no motor on it. You have to do everything by hand. And so you crush the apples in a crusher by hand, and then it's transferred over to the press, and then you squeeze it out, and, uh, and then we put it in cord jars and we can it, so you can keep it. And it's good, and we don't ever put anything in it, and you know, it's, it's, it's really good stuff. It's, a lot of people have never tasted fresh squeezed apple juice, and they go, Oh, this is good. So my name is Dan Cahill Matthews. Um, I'm the team facilitator of the Finland Food Chain. To my left here is Katie, our uh, farmer's market coordinator. And every Thursday we put on the farmer's market here in Finland. And this year to try to inspire some of the guests who come out to the farmer's market to use local ingredients and know what to do with some of the ingredients we've been doing food demos. So we've scheduled one every week since the beginning of the market. Um, and we started with a lot of raw preparations. And then as we built up our uh, process here, now we have some cooking equipment. And um, this week we have a really great demo. It's a father and daughter duo making uh, homemade pasta with a pasta primavera sauce using marinara tomato sauce from Wolf Ridge Organic Farms, using lots of vegetables from Wolf Ridge Organic Farms and um, Maxwell's Wood the Nursery. And I think there's some mushrooms in there too from Finskagen Farm. So all of the producers we have at the farmer's market are being featured in the food demo that we got going on. I was asked to do a little demo. Um, and so I've been making pasta with my kid since she was old enough to stand. Um, so I figured that would be a fun one. And yeah, it seemed easy to be able to just go around to all the, the booths and find what I'm cooking right here. And that's basically what I did. Uh, yeah, I got everything except for the wine and the Parmesan came from right here. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we're Finskogen Farm. Um, we're a small farm tucked in the hills outside of Finland, Minnesota, and we're growing all sorts of cool stuff. We do lovage, we do kale, we do peas, we do garlic, we do rye, we do a lot of potatoes, rhubarb, um, and we do sourdough bread as well. And so we do a special mix of organic flours that um, is a slow ferment, so it actually is easier to, to digest and it tastes really good. So that's kind of what we do. Check us out. Sarah, 
Uh, I'm the farm manager at Wolf Ridge. Um, it's actually Wolf Ridge Environmental Learning Center. And the farm hasn't been around that long. And we are really designed to send all of our produce up to the dining hall. But since we've been closed due to COVID, we sort of rearranged what we're doing with the produce. So the farm stayed open, which was a godsend. We've got some community funding, which is great. And then we were able to share produce here through CSA um, with the food shelves in the area. So it's been great. So these past two summers, we've been able to kind of mingle with the folks here at the market and do a little bit of outreach, which we haven't really done a lot in the past. So yeah, the farm has really like increased Wolfridge's presence within the community and that feels great.